Okay, so so feel uh, feel the feelings. Okay, so feel the feelings. Um, okay, so all the um, how to feel the feelings. So I describe it. I you know when you use languaging. I'm going to I'm going to sound a bit odd here. When you use languaging, it's very difficult to explain things because ultimately, uh, in the beginning. Everybody believes that they are their self-centre, and that's the truth of what they are. So everyone believes they are their thoughts and their feelings. But in truth, that's not real. So when I use languaging, I have to sort of use languaging as if to try and connect with you in a place where you're at. Okay, so anyway, so most people experience themselves as a body uh, with feelings within the body. Right, so that's you know, how most people are experiencing experience. So let's pretend that. So how how do you feel the feeling? So it'll be like, like how do you practice? So you'd be like you you might close your eyes and just become aware of what is being felt. Let's say what's being felt in the body. Maybe you've got some anxiousness. Maybe you've got some physical symptoms. Maybe you've got some fear, trapped here, or some anxiety. May there there could you know there could be pain. Also, uh, we could call feelings can be things I would classify, because here's the, where the thing, where the, the word feeling displays. I would, you could call pain a feeling. You could call um, tiredness a feeling. You could call um, uh, a burning sensation a feeling. You could call. Um, now it's beyond feel the feeling. So okay, let me let me uh, sort of say. So let's say. Uh, in the early years, I might have felt like I'm the body, I'm stuck in this little area here, and I might have, say, um, what could it be, like fear in the stomach, maybe it could be fear in the stomach, it could be anything, or a headache, or a headache, or it could be like pain in the foot, whatever it is. So, so how you do feel the feelings is you just become aware of what are the sensations that are being felt. What's the dominant sensation? Okay. So for each individual be something else. And then just allow yourself to, here's the thing, allow yourself to experience that. Let's say it's fear in the stomach, or it could be whatever it is for you. It could be tiredness, exhaustion, pain, um, uh, a, a symptom, breathlessness, can be anything. Or, or, so become aware of what's dominant and just allow yourself. Now, the thing with uh, the ego is it does not want to feel. The ego never wants to feel. It wants to constantly think or anaesthetize. It never ever wants to experience what's been felt. So here's the first thing. The thing with feel the feelings is you're doing 180 the opposite. It is 180 degrees the opposite. So we really want to, right? Because you're now getting aware of what you're not feeling, if that may, it makes sense. Because probably when you're starting this, you're in your head. And you, when you let go of your thinking, you'll suddenly realize, oh, I've got some tightness in the stomach, I've got a bit of an ache in the shoulder. So I'll just, allow, just stop, stop your thinking, just become aware of what is being felt, become aware of the dominant feeling, and just fully, it's like fully inviting, not mentally, but you're fully inviting that to be fully, fully experienced. Okay, so fully invite it, and then now the, the next thing to know is that when you're experiencing the feeling, within a split second you'll be in, in a thought. Because you, you're now trying to let all your attention just being on allowing the feelings to be experienced. And now within a split second, because you're a human, you'll be in a thought trying to go off into a story. So as soon as that happens, detach from the thought as quickly as possible and be back with the, with the emotion, with the feeling. Now, if this is your first time, you'll be back into another thought within a split second. Now what's happening as you're doing this is you want to catch yourself faster and faster when you go off into thought. Detach and be, be back with the feeling. So you're doing this process. So like when, you're, when you do this the first time, you might spend, if you're doing it for five minutes, you might spend four and a half of those minutes thinking and only like you know, ten seconds actually feeling. But that's fine. It would be like the next time you want to make progress. So you might be like spending 20 seconds feeling and less time. So you're trying to detach from thoughts, be with the feeling. If you go back to a thought, detach and be back with the feeling. 
and spend as much time with the feeling. Now, as you allow these feelings to, to be there and you detach from the thoughts, they'll start to dissolve. They'll start to evaporate eventually. Um, and if it totally evaporates, then it'll be like the next layer will come up. You'll be aware of another subtle feeling. Now, here's the thing where the title of Feel the Feelings is not quite right, because you can, you can experience out all limits. So if you feel out emotions, allow emotions to be felt, they'll disappear. They'll eventually dissipate and disappear. You can also feel out, um, don't label anything, because as soon as you label something like fear or anger, it's like the ego expresses form onto it. So don't even label it pain. You just allow it to be experienced as a raw energy. So it's not really an emotion. It's more like an energy. It's not really an energy. It's a vibration. You don't need to label it with your head in any way. Now, here's the thing. If, you, if you're aware of your body location, eventually if you feel out all your feelings, if you just allow yourself to exp um, to let go of your attachment to the body location, you'll, you'll start to experience something like some, an experience of locationlessness, no location. If you let go of the identification with time, you'll start to experience time. So you can, you can just allow things to, exp as you just let them be there and be experienced, they eventually start to um, lose their limited experiencing and then they dissolve away. Does that make sense? So eventually if you just allow the feeling to be there, it'll, it'll be there for a while and it'll disappear. And then if you allow any energy to be there, just look, or tiredness or pain to be there, and just be there without thought, then eventually it'll just be there for a while and then it'll disappear. Any form of limit, if you just let it be there for a while, without trying to attach thoughts to it. It'll be there for a while and then it'll disappear. And then you will eventually, so this experience of just allowing experiences and energies to be there without labeling it with thoughts or disidentifying with thoughts if you're going to make a story, eventually that will take you to the, the limitless eternal experiencing that is here now. So you can dissolve everything that is being experienced here. I call it field of feelings, but as you allow things to be, as you allow things to be without putting a mental story or labeling on it, it's like because they're allowed to be without repression, they just stay there for a while and they're experienced and then they dissolve and then they disappear. And then everything disappears into nothingness. So we're on camera, but was there any questions on that? Was that quite, quite easy to get? Okay, so 